KHOU 11 studios, this is H-Town Rush. We are headed into Mother's Day weekend, but it will of course look a bit different this year as most of us celebrate from home. So this morning, we wanna spread a little love to all the mamas out there. We wanna know how is your family celebrating mom this weekend? You can share your plans with us, maybe a photo of the family on social media. Just use the hashtag HTownRush. For now, good morning, everybody. It is Friday, we made it. I'm Steph Simmons. Let's get straight over to Erica Lopez for the forecast. That's right, lots of folks need to plan out their Mother's Day, so I'm gonna chat about that all morning long couple of things you probably have to worry about just to kick off the weekend wanted to start you out in Galveston because I know it's dark out there but if you can see the palm trees they are blowing really hard out there this morning winds are sustained at 23 miles an hour but I've seen gusts closer to 40 miles an hour so make sure to keep that in mind we are under a wind advisory for the coastal areas now current temperatures it is warm it is muggy guys not very comfortable 77 degrees your current temperature dew points are back on the high side that's because a cold runs pushing through later today. I'll walk us through your hour by hour forecast and talk about the beautiful weather in store for Mother's Day weekend coming up. Erica, thanks. Now let's get you to your coronavirus headlines. Here's what we're tracking for you this morning. There are 11,500 cases now in the greater Houston area and more than 7,300 in Houston and Harris County combined. Across the country, the number of cases is still climbing in 28 states. Now this comes as nearly every state is loosening restrictions and starting to reopen some businesses. And speaking of reopening, salons and barber shops can now get back to business here. Michelle Choi joins us with what you can expect at your next appointment. Steph, I have a feeling salons are going to be packed today. Thousands of Texans are expected to say goodbye to quarantine hair and hello to hair salons, barber shops, tanning and nail salons. Three, two, one. Nary Hair Studio in Pearland opened at the stroke of midnight. And yes, some of their clients were willing to forego sleep to squeeze in a much needed haircut. Nary's owner says despite the new state rules, he's just excited to open. We thought we'd celebrate since we've been on the shutdown and closed down for close to nine, ten weeks. I believe and everyone was just up and ready to do this. There are strict guidelines being put in place to keep both customers and employees safe. You'll see stylists wearing gloves at all times. Salon workstations will be six feet apart. Be sure to make an appointment so you won't have to wait and don't bring anyone with you that doesn't have an appointment. They won't be allowed in. If you visit a nail salon, you won't be able to touch any products and you'll probably be asked to wash your hands before service. But keep in mind, not everyone will be ready to open today. Some businesses tell us they're still putting safety measures in place. Steph, back to you. Michelle, thank you. The number of COVID-19 test sites and contact tracers will now double in the city of Houston by the end of the month. They plan on using mobile and fixed sites in neighborhoods where data shows people are more likely to die from the virus. They're planning to hire 300 new contact tracers to figure out who COVID patients have been around and then reach out to those people. Yesterday, Mayor Turner reported 88 new cases and three new deaths. And I look forward to the time uh, when I can stand before you and say that there are no new reported cases, Dr. Purse, and no new deaths. Uh, so this is just a reminder with these numbers uh, that this virus is still present. Houston's own Beyonce is teaming up with her mother, Tina Knowles Lawson, to promote coronavirus testing in minority communities. Here are the day's other big stories, starting with tributes pouring in for the Harris County Sheriff Sergeant who died after battling coronavirus. Deputies gathered to honor Sergeant Raymond Sholwinski. He served the Harris County Sheriff's Office for more than 40 years. He was 70 years old. When the Blue Angels flew that sky, then he left with them. I knew it. I knew it. Cutting beach access. The city of Galveston hopes to limit the crowds on its beaches. Eight beach access points will be closed to cars this weekend. And while the beaches are still open to visitors, the city says it will have extra police on duty to help enforce city regulations. Get ready for a shocking jobs report. The numbers from April come in today and analysts expect the national unemployment rate to skyrocket. It was at 4.4% in March. It could fall somewhere between 11 and 20% this morning. The Greater Houston Restaurant Association expects that roughly 10% of restaurants in our area will never reopen. Some owners we spoke to say they're hoping that curbside pickup will help them just break even so they won't have to close for good. 
Even with the state allowing restaurants to operate at 25% capacity, owners notice customers are still wary about dining in. No flyover today. The Lone Star Flight Museum postponed its planned flyover because of possible bad weather this afternoon. 20 vintage warplanes will fly across the Houston area Sunday instead. The flyover will begin at 1.45 and last about 90 minutes. And those are the big stories on this Friday morning.